Do you see the baby that I have today? I am so excited. This is a 2020 Lamborghini Urus wide body because you know we're going to go hella wide today. All right, so let's talk about performances 640 horsepower, 0 to 66. So we're going to be flying, I already know. And the engine, twin turbo V8. So if you want one of these baby, it starts at 200,000. So I know we're not rich yet, but we're getting there. So we're going to get this today. I borrowed this car from Push Exotics Atlanta. So whenever you're in Atlanta and you're looking for something a little exotic, call them. So I want to talk about the front end of this car. This looks amazing. This looks so aggressive. And you know me, I'm a little aggressive. It looks like an angry bird, like for real. You see how it's coming down and then coming to like right here. I just love it. And then obviously the badge, because we got to know what you're driving. We're la driving today a Lamborghini. All right, so did you see the headlights? So the headlights are in the shape of a Y. And then when you put on the turn signal, it takes the whole headlight and becomes a turn signal. But think about the, um, the Y that I'm talking about, because come with me, come to the back. To the back, you see exactly the same Y that we find in the front. So it takes right here and right here. It's actually really big. Also, think about the Y still. There's some Ys inside. All right. So on the speaker, look. Instead of having regular holes, they put like some Ys. Look at the, on the pedals, there is more Ys. So this car has been wrapped. It used to be yellow, but now it's matte black. But we still see the um, carbon fiber, which I love the carbon fiber all over the, the front. And then you come on here, there is more carbon fiber right here right there even on the front right here also when you come to the rims beautiful rims and that's why the brake calipers are actually yellow because the car used to be yellow and if you come to the back too with me you'll see there's some more carbon fiber right here yep all over here very nice i really love carbon fiber and right here also if you take a look over here it's very sloped, therefore they didn't need any wipers because they were like, when the rain is gonna come on there, it's just gonna come right off. So no need for wipers, I really like that. The, the back end is so sexy to me. Again, some more carbon fiber here. This is so aggressive and so sporty. I really enjoy that. When it comes to the cargo area, let's see how much space we got. Let's see. Okay, it's pretty spacious, you know. Ooh, let me show it's Alcantara super soft i really like that and then lamborghini right here to make sure you know what we're driving there is two buttons over there so it's to help you lower the car and when you're done you put it back up so it's pretty big i like that So now that we're inside, I am super excited because the interior is amazing. So I don't know if you saw the, the camo touches everywhere over here. I'm loving this. This is insane. So let's talk about what's going on on here. It's a lot going on, but the push thought, that's something that I was like, what's going on? So we got to lift it and press it. But you know, some people were complaining about why am I paying 200,000 for a car and I got to do so much work, so much. So they created a little window where you can put your finger, but my finger don't fit. So I don't know whose finger is going to fit. And you can just press it right here so you don't have to lift it. All right. So once we started the car, we have this. This is the gear selector. So this is to park. There's a little button next to it, the P. And then if you want to put it in reverse, 
you pull it and then you're in reverse as far as how to start your car if you've never been in a lambo it might be a little difficult so how to put your car in drive it's not over here it's actually you use the the paddle shifter and that would put your car in drive on the left side you find anima so anima are actually your drive mode so if you don't know italian i don't know what to tell you but uh strada is street sport sport corsa is a uh, track and neve i believe it's for the snow i believe so don't don't quote me on that but i believe it's for the snow on the right side you find uh, also some drive mode where it's gonna help you decide about the suspension the chassis and the transmission one drawback that i would say is this part over here it looks a little funny to me but also there is some blanks ones so why am i paying two hundred thousand dollars and there's some buttons that don't do nothing when you need to reverse there is no way you're touching any car because this 3d camera is amazing and also on there you can see when you see your car and you put your blinker on it's going to show the car with the blinker on it pretty awesome when it comes to the infotainment it's pretty self-explanatory it's very uh touch responsive and it's very easy and also there is another screen right here where you can do almost everything too and you can decide on your seats heated seats ventilated seats the only drawback is like you have to press way too many buttons i don't really like it but it's okay the gauge cluster is one of the most configurable gauge clusters i've ever seen so you know how earlier i was saying if you don't know italian you might be screwed well lamborghini thought about you when you change to your drive mode it changed the picture of your car so you can figure it out if you're on the street if you are on the track if you're in the snow it's really cool also i forgot to tell you there is a sunroof so the sun can be beaming on me it's pretty big all right and it opens Now that we're in the back, the most exciting part is the screen. From the back, I can do everything that the front is doing besides driving, obviously. So I have my little, my little TV, my little uh, iPad that I can take off because I'm lazy. I, I'm not trying to be here and uh, I can do everything. I can control the radio, the media, the sound, navigation. If I want to go somewhere else because I'm being driven today, I put here and I put the new address and now my chauffeur knows where i want to go also when it comes to the headroom it's it's pretty decent i have a bun but it's decent i'm six feet and it's fine leg room also pretty decent you know i have it's not crazy but it's fine in the back seat you also find those bucket seats so it only sits two i mean you can really try to sit over here but i don't think nobody wants to sit over here and it's very comfortable if you have nobody with you in the back you just open this right here and now you find your cup holders and also if you have something that's kind of long in the in the trunk you can just do like this and it opens and you can put it right in the middle and also in the back you can control your seats cooling seats or ventilated seats pretty awesome and your temperature obviously Alrighty, we're gonna go do my favorite we're not in sports mode yet, so I'm, I'm, going, I'm taking it easy on you for now. So let's talk about the driving position. It's pretty high. There's a lot of headspace, even with my bun, I'm still not touching. So I really like that. Um, the steering, pretty, pretty precise, you know, for an SUV. And this car, you know, you know me. I'm not really fucking with SUVs. But this one, uh, if anybody wants to buy it for me, I'll take it. Thank you um i like it i'm trying to push it for you we're gonna go in sports mode right now we're in sports mode i'm just trying to have some room so i can really do what i do you hear that you this car feels like a monster i i don't know i it's very quick it's super fast i don't know and I don't really feel like I'm in an SUV, like for real. Uh, let me see. Because I'm trying to push this. Whoa! Okay. Excuse me. 
I, I, I love it. I love it. We're gonna get off the highway, but I love it. Yeah. Yes. Well, my friend Mitch is the one who got me this car. If you in Atlanta and you wanna rent a car, call him. Cause he got all the exotic cars. He got a Cullinan. He got a bunch of stuff. Call him.